Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be discussing the brand new balance changes which just dropped a couple of minutes ago with the emergency maintenance. So, of course, there was a few bug fixes, but ultimately, there was a lot of changes specifically to the damage and the reload gears. So, we'll be jumping into those, going through all the interaction changes and the main ones to be looking out for and whether it's really going to truly fine tune the meta because these gears, of course, are by far the strongest ones. So, before we jump into it, then make sure you use the credit code in the shop. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's hop into some games. All right, guys, jumping into the first game. And so, we're going to be briefly talking about the reload, uh, reload gear. I was going to reload speed gear, no, the reload gear, and uh, talking about. That, that impact on the meta because of course that is the hot subject right it's a brand new gear into the game and a lot of people really frustrated specifically on brawlers like griff where you just had infinite reload like literally every single time uh you face the griff he always had that reload available so basically the numbers to it i would say except for probably like big reload um speed brawlers like brock I uh, feel like it's not really going to impact too much. It's probably like 0.1 of a second difference. Like maybe as the game goes on, of course, that's going to be leading to less value over time. Uh, but brawlers like Lola and 8-Bit, for example, they have a 1.5 at second reload speed. Both of them shared uh, with the old reload gear. It used to go down to 1.2. Now it's roughly about 1.3. So you see a 0.1 difference. Doesn't really seem like a lot, right? But you probably will feel it a little bit in the game, specifically on Heist. I think that's probably going to be the main example. You've also got brawlers like Griff. So he has a 0 0.7 second or 1.7 second riddle speed without any kind of gears. That went down to 1.36 with the last update. And now it is 1.445. Like, it's a lot of decimals into it. But that's about, again, a 0 0.1 nerf to his reload speed, which... Again, may not seem like a lot in the grand scheme of things, but it is a nice change. It's not like making the reload speed gear like really bad, nor is it making it like nowhere near as oppressive as it once was before. Like this gear was definitely a bit too strong and did need some type of change, right? It, especially with brawlers already like Rico, for example, where, you know, on those really close range maps, like it was only like a small buff to him. I think it was like, 0.2 of a second buff to him but it just made it even more impossible to try and take him on on a map where he used to already dominate like hard rock mine for example it was just infinite ammo he only received like i don't know i think it's like a point zero point zero six nerf so you're probably not gonna feel it with a rico but yeah riddle gear is probably still gonna be the more favorable gear for me specifically on brothers that have high dps you know 8-bit lola griff all of these brawlers that just really uh, define, like, you just need that DPS, right? You just need that extra reload speed, especially considering they haven't got, like, the quickest, you know, like Brock, for example, 2.1 uh, second reload speed. Like, you definitely need that. So that's going to be that game. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys, hopping into the next game. And so as I mentioned with Brock, this is probably going to have the biggest effect on him, right? So the brawlers that have the highest reload speed without the reload gear, it's of course going to affect them. It's just pure mass, right? Uh, even I know that and I'm pretty dumb. Uh, but yeah, 2.1 seconds reload speed. That's what Brock had. Just base rate. And then with the reload speed gear buff, it did get a huge buff. So it went to 1.68 seconds, which of course in a game mode like Heist, it was just insane. And now it's been uh, nerfed by 0. Uh, 0. 0.1 seconds, which again, doesn't seem like a lot. But when you're using Rocket number four as well, all of these things come to hand. And now he's probably going to be a little bit worse off in other game modes where he started to see a lot more use rate. Like I was using Brock and Ring of Fire yesterday on Power League and I was completely dominating because of his reload gear. Like I felt like Brock was slowly becoming such a meta brawler and now I feel like he still is pretty decent. I feel like you still will see him quite a fair bit in heist. He just probably won't be making as much as an appearance in those other game modes. So yeah, for me, again, like his reload gear is still going to be pretty good it's not going to be broken anymore but it's still going to have such amazing value amazing value on a lot of brawlers so that's going to be that game let's hop into the next one all right guys so jumping into the next brawler who's going to affect a ton because of course amber has such a slow reload speed specifically to get back all of her ammo so basically to get back all of her ammo before any changes it takes 8.8 .8 seconds with amber to get that full ammo back of course that is huge with the old reload speed speed gear it used to take seven seconds to get it fully back which was like a two uh, second buff which of course 
absolutely huge for a brawler like amber now it takes about 7.5 seconds so that is literally like a point five difference in reload speed which again is going to be huge like amber for sure was starting to be seen a lot in the meta and just really toxic like considering in the previous metas where uh reload speed was a lot quicker uh she just used to be super toxic you started to see it a little bit again so of course it's gonna really hurt her but still that's that's still like a nice buff right that's like i think it's about 1.3 seconds faster reload speed with his gears so you're still going to get a lot of value with it and it's still going to be the better gear for her maybe people might uh, opt for like the speed and damage gear combination because amber does have two other gears as well like i mentioned that are pretty strong as well so gotta bear that in mind i just feel like it's going to be a bit more of a choice right beforehand you know reload gear just 100 percent of the time you had to use it because it was just so incredibly oppressive you know brawlers like e for example as well you start to see her a lot more in the meta I've seen her a ton in maps like canal grande because of that reload speed gear it felt so nice but it's kind of impossible to tell like straight away whether like the reload gear, uh, reload speed gear is going to be like the favorite of course i'll be grinding power league and i'll put out a guide tomorrow i'll be playing a lot of power league today just to kind of get a feel for the meta whether the gears nerf have really done anything so yeah that's going to be another game let's hop into one of the final ones all right guys so jumping into the next game then so now talking about the damage gear and what this nerf is going to do to the meta then so damage gear as you've probably seen already on my best builds video if you've not I uh, probably sh still should check it out because I feel like it's still going to be quite relevant. Uh, but as I was saying with the with that video, basically every single brawler that I went through for like, you know, obviously the gears changed. So everyone had to remake their builds. Every single brawler I recommended the damage gear with mainly because straight away, you know, whatever map you play, whatever mode you play, damage gear is going to be super valuable, specifically in heist. So this is why I've gone into heist. I feel like it's going to have the biggest impact on the highest meta because of course it's going to mean less damage onto the safe with 15 percent uh with a, a five percent less damage remember before that's going to really impact uh the way things are so the highest game is going to go on for a little bit longer and of course that threshold with those tanks it's going to be a little bit harder to finish games off quicker but we did actually finish it off pretty quickly because they just left us alone so that's going to be another game let's hop into the next one all right guys jumping into the next game then so in terms of heist as i previously mentioned it's going to of course hurt the tankier brawlers again it's a numbers thing with this uh the percentages of course are getting smaller so the brawlers that have the highest damage per ammo is going to impact them the most so I threw a few brawlers to name off of it then. So obviously like brawlers like Bull, Daryl, they have insane damage per shot up close. You know, you've got brawlers like the Snipers, like B, Piper, for example. It's really going to impact those. So of course, the numbers aren't really going to change too much on certain brawlers. You know, like uh, I don't know, like Rico's main attack, maybe that's not really going to impact too much. Uh, just because he doesn't really have the most damage per bullet. You know, brawlers like that, it's not going to impact too much. But... But the brawler I'm picking right now, I feel like it's going to be have a huge indirect nerf. So with B, the main problem with B, right, was the damage gear. The damage gear was incredibly toxic, specifically with the charged shot. Like, you could deal nearly 4k damage with one shot with B, which, of course, she gets her charged shot a lot. And if skilled players uh, abused it as much as they did, like, they could just stay alive with the damage gear and just constantly spew out 4k shots. All of the time it just led to b being so broken so hard to actually push her uh well push into her because of how much damage she could just do in an instant like 4k is enough to literally one shot so many different brawlers in the game it was just far too toxic so unfortunately we're gonna lose that one let's hop into the last game all right guys jumping into the final game and so i've just had so many bugs so many people giving up on me and my recordings just gone pretty terrible but anyways going into the final bit of the video then so with b as i was mentioning it's going to have a massive impact on her so she used to do basically 4k damage with one charge shot it's now been nerfed to around 3800 so only a 200 damage nerf to that charge shot with damage gear active but with a brawl like b she was just so oppressive time and time again people would just keep the damage gear active just to constantly put out 4k damage it was just insane and it's going to have the biggest change to her so watch out for maybe b being a little bit worse off in the meta but then again everyone's impacted by this damage gear. you can see literally the whole lobby is pretty much using this damage gear because you're pretty much getting value out of it every single time like no matter the map or mode 
no matter whether the grass gets destroyed right like speed gear can of course be affected but damage gear it will never ever be affected because pretty much whatever situation you're in you're probably going to find value out of it and it's just really frustrating as well you know facing off against someone you know you're getting the better off against them and then their damage gear pops before yours and they actually end up winning the fight because of it like that's happened a lot to me and now maybe that won't happen as much of course this has needed a nerf for a long time but i feel like they wanted just to get uh, the gear rework out of the way before they looked at balancing any more gears and hopefully we see a nerf to the probably the vision gear or the speed gear like vision gear against leon hopefully and sandy it does get fine-tuned because that is probably a bit too cheesy to just remove two brothers from the meta because of one gear right and then speed gear of course i just never really like this gear too much on those grassy maps you know tanks sandy m's just so annoying to face off against with speed gear that should probably be nerfed to 15 percent as well like of course you should feel a difference adding the gear right like i don't want to make the gear just terrible but i also don't want to make it op so that's what they've done with the reload gear and the damage gear hopefully with his changes and then maybe some more changes in the future but it's definitely really good that they've been listening to the community like a lot of people have been complaining about the reload gear specifically in you know heist in just any game mode really because it was just too much damage to really deal against like it was just so hard pushing a lane against rico for example but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video guys uh, as i mentioned I will probably be putting out a power league guide tomorrow i'll also mention uh probably like my favorite builds on a lot of these meta brawlers as well so make sure to check that one out but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you guys next time